the question of how to fill an ink converter or a piston fountain pen comes up again and again. Here we take a look at this. And the whole thing without ink fingers, that is, without getting ink stains on your hands. Hello, my name is Chris and this is Writing Delight. Filling a piston fountain pen and a cartridge fountain pen with ink converter is basically identical and actually simple. But especially in the beginning, there may be some uncertainty about doing it wrong. But perhaps even experienced fountain pen users will take away a few ideas from this video. Because you can fill a fountain pen without smearing your fingers with ink. But even if that happens, there's nothing wrong with it. And is completely accepted. First of all, what you will need. The fountain pen, in this case one's a piston fountain pen, and a cartridge fountain pen with ink converter. Plus, of course, the ink in the inkwell. And I always recommend having a soft cloth ready to clean the pen. Personally, I like to use dry cosmetic wipes, but kitchen paper towels are also good to use. Let's take a look at how piston fountain pen and converter work. Both are identical in principle, so I show you the converter here. This is because it is transparent. The special elements here are the rotating knob and the end and the piston inside. The piston seals the barrel to the back. If you turn the knob at the end, the piston moves. If you turn the piston in further, the air or ink inside the barrel is pushed out to the front. When you move the piston backward, the barrel fills. To fill a fountain pen with an ink converter, it is advisable to first insert the ink converter into the fountain pen grip in place of a cartridge. The piston should have been turned all the way forward. The nib of the fountain pen is now dipped into the ink in the inkwell. And do this so far that the opening in the fountain pen's feet is submerged. As a safety measure, however, you can easily immerse the fountain pen so far that the beginning of the grip section is in the ink. Hold the fountain pen with one hand. Be careful not to touch the edge of the inkwell, as this is where ink is usually found. With the other hand, turn the knob of the converter until ink is drawn up. If very little ink is drawn up at the beginning, you can turn the ink out again and draw it up again. Most of the time, the converter will continue to fill. A complete filling of the converter is feasible but normally not worthwhile. A small amount of air is allowed to remain inside. Immediately after removing the fountain pen from the inkwell, the first thing we do is carefully wipe the grip area. This way you can already touch it carefully here. Then put on the barrel, Clean the grip section once again and wipe the nib. The fountain pen with filled converter is ready. You often hear that you should squeeze two or three drops of ink out of the converter and then completely fill the converter outside of the ink. This measure is useful if you plan to put the fountain pen down after filling it. However, if you plan to write with it right away, this is not strictly necessary. The same procedure also applies to a piston fountain pen. 
Here, we do not insert a converter and do not unscrew the barrel. Otherwise, the steps are the same. And if you are careful not to touch the edge of the inkwell, and you clean the grip section before you touch it, you won't get any stains on your hands. But if it should happen to you, as mentioned before, it's not bad. Many inks can be washed off directly with soap and water. Otherwise, a little stronger soap or special cream will help. Apart from that, for many, this is also part of the process. If one draws new ink into a fountain pen, one should clean this before if other ink was contained. Otherwise, the inks will not only mix in the fountain pen, but also remnants of the old ink can get into the inkwell. So, you see, it's actually quite simple. The few points you need to pay attention to are easy to understand. Do you have any questions or any suggestions? Write it down in the comments. I'm happy to try to answer the questions and I'm eager to hear more tips from you. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you're interested in more tips and tricks and especially reviews of various fountain pens, feel free to subscribe to this channel. And of course, a thumbs up always makes me happy. Thank you very much. See you next time.